Well, well, well. A lot has occurred on this uh, Land Rover since we last shot video of it. It's in paint. Uh, the last time we saw it being wet sanded, and uh, it has gone through a complete buffing, compounding process. That process uh, brings it through a number of different um, pastes, for lack of a better term, compound grits that are applied applied on um, with a buffer and buffed off with a buffer in order to get to a certain uh, type of finish. And that finish is spectacular on this. Um, all the panels are straight. Uh, the qu some of the lighting in here is not very good, but boy, it is sharp compared to where we started. Crisp, clean, neat, and uh, just, just remarkable. It looks so nice, especially this section here where there were a number of issues with rivets showing through, completely gone, very straight. Paint is, I might, might say, flawless, very clean, no contamination. And uh, next on our list of to-do things, there's been a request to paint the frame. So we're going to be painting the frame as best we can. Typically, you'd want to sandblast a frame, but this, this project, this truck, doesn't really warrant it. We're going to do some scuffing of the frame and uh, painting it with a good frame paint, probably a company called uh, Sam Rush Shield. That'll be applied. We're also going to be replacing these um, with brand new factory uh, sections because these are, well, these are rotten, actually. I, I didn't realize, but you can't even see it, but that's a hole right there. We're replacing these with an excellent pair of factory ones that we were able to track down. Stainless steel hardware will be applied as well as stainless steel brake lines, clutch, uh, some uh, other stainless steel lines going on. So there's that. Uh, so we're moving forward and putting it together like Humpty Dumpty again.